Hi again. Uh, this is a brief tutorial on how you can be able to schedule your online class uh, using the Google, using Google Meet and the calendar that is provided to us as Kemo staff uh, under the G Suite uh, of applications. So I will log in into my account right now in Virtual Campus or the Digital Campus and pick the course that I want to schedule my online class for. Let's assume it's for my MBAT 504 class. And uh, it's this is where I'd like to add it. I trust that each one of us as faculty members have put up our content in modular format to provide a logical flow of learning for our students. So ideally you would have a welcome message and then maybe right after that you have the link for the online classes. So this is what I'd like to do. So for now, let me just remove this here so that I'll be able to add this. So I will uh, now get to my Camo email and it's under my Camo email on the top right corner. You will get to see the link for the Google apps. I will select the calendar. So when you click on that link or that icon, it shows you the different applications provided by G Suite. Uh, and I will click on the calendar for now. Now, assuming that my class has been scheduled for every Wednesday, 4 to 7 p.m. This is a part-time class, so it's every Wednesday from 4 to 7 p.m. So I would like to start my classes on 16th. So this opens up my calendar. Now you'll notice many of us have used the calendar before. So let me just click on 16th. And I will have an item that I can be able to edit now and add uh, an activity for that particular date. I will click on more options because I'd like to add more items into my uh, um, the scheduled event and uh, type in a title for it. Call it Embed by the Four Online Class. And uh, it's not going to be for the whole day, I just want it to be scheduled from 4 to 7. So I will deselect this so that now it allows me to provide the time. And I can select now 4 p.m. There's a drop down for the from and a drop down for the to. So I'll do 4 to 7 p.m. And it is on September 16th right now. However, because this is a class that has been scheduled for every Wednesday, I need it repeating so that I don't have to create links every week. This you can be able to do by selecting this does not repeat drop down and select custom. And from here, you since you're having a class once a week, you can just have that as once a week here. Select the day has already been selected for you because you had selected 16th, which is a Wednesday. And then uh, the end option is where you have to now choose until when do you want this to go on. So I will click on the drop down, which now opens up the calendar, I uh, calendar item for me and select up to second, assuming that examinations will begin on 7th. So I will have it up to December 2nd and I'll click on done. Then I need to add my Google Meet video conferencing link. So I'll just click on that. So you have that provided. You'd like to be notified, let's say maybe 60 minutes or an hour before time. So 60 minutes before that, or you can even provide it in hours. I'll just provide that one hour before time. And then a brief description of what this is about. So I'll just say, embed. I go for management information systems online class link. Let's say, dear student, this is this link for our online class. Kind of regards your name. And 
So when you click on save, you can be able to add guests if you already have the email addresses of the students and that will actually show up in the calendar of uh, the students. Right now, because you do not know the students and you do not have their email addresses, let's leave that particular option open. Once you're done with that, you click on save. Then you now you'll notice that uh, Embad 504 actually repeats every Wednesday. I could go to the next month. Notice that also appears on uh, October and all the way till December 2nd. So it stops here. It doesn't go on to the next week because you've already customized that. The next thing is now to go back to the virtual, to the digital campus and be able to add this as your online class. So I will, uh, I already have my modules for this particular course and I can add a page, for example, or an external URL. <laughs> Then I can copy paste the Google Meet link over here. And then the name is what I'll call click here. To join the online class. So what I'll do, I'll first go back to my calendar. Pick my Google Meet link, which I scheduled. So I'll just click on this you'll notice when I click on it, there's a copy icon that shows up here. I can click on that, come back to the virtual campus, paste it here and add the item. So already you now have the class, click here to join the online class and you can publish it. And when you click on it, you'll notice that this opens, uh, you can be able to now reset this I just go back to this, edit the settings, and select uh, load in a new tab so that it does not open up within uh, the digital campus. Since we have not yet integrated the Google applications within the digital campus, just select load in a new tab and select and click on the update oh. button. So that when you click on it, it actually opens it up in a new uh, in a new window where you can now be able to click and open it up and the students will be able to see that. Now, of course, for uh, you'll notice that uh, what shows up is my uh, personal email. I'll have to switch my account because of notice, remember I, I created this with my Kemo account. So I'll select my Kemo account, that's genu.john at kemo.ac.ke. And now from here, I can be able to join the class and that allows me now to even admit the students once they are on. Uh, sharing, of course, we can click on present now. This allows me to present my entire screen. Uh, I can also select and uh, select a window. So any window that is open in my computer will be displayed so I can select any one of them to be able to share that as part of my demonstration, let's say for my class, or if you're just using Chrome, personally I'm using Chrome, so you can even select a Chrome tab and all the Chrome tabs that are open will be there. So if you'd like to share a particular Chrome tab, select that and that is what will be displayed on your screen. So, um, so that's about how, uh, and once you've started your class, remember to use I'll stop this presentation for now. Uh, it's important that you are able to now share also the class attendance through the chat because this is what now the students will use to be able to fill the attendance form that you need to be able to provide to the chair of department at the end of the week for purposes of uh, onward forwarding to the Directorate of Quality Assurance and Performance. So I'll stop this class here and uh, that is basically how you create your uh, scheduler class within the calendar and have it integrated as part of a module item within the digital campus. Thank you.